What's up my people? This is Danny from Plug and Play and today I have a tool tip video about a great little tool for After Effects called TextEvo. It is a very versatile uh, text animator that works with any text layer inside of After Effects and it's super flexible. TextEvo is available on aescripts.com and it is a name your own price tool so that means you can effectively pay zero dollars and get it for free but you really should be supporting these authors because uh, they, they do some beautiful stuff and they put a lot of time and effort into making these tools. So he suggests paying $29.99. I'll, I'll make that call up to you, but uh, I think that you should go for it because it is a really great tool. So let's get into After Effects and I'll show you exactly how TextEvo works. So I have this little animation going on for a client. It's not done yet. Don't judge too much. <laughs> Everything is animated except for this happy and then um, this name layer down here, which I said is my name for now. And so what this client wants is kind of to have this template that they can send to all of their users whenever it's their birthday. And they want to be able to change out this name here very easily. So TextEvo is a script that allows you to add a bunch of different animation properties to a text layer. And then it allows you to control all those layers from one slider. So it makes animating all different types of text animation super simple, and it's all done through two keyframes. Let's go ahead and hit apply. This is going to be an in animation, so I'll have that toggled. And then we're going to add some animation properties here. I'm going to add position, let's add scale, and then let's even add rotation too, right there. Okay, so as you can see, it added all of these different effects to this layer. and all those effects are controlled by these two keyframes right here. Instead of having to have a different keyframe for the um, scale and for the rotation and for the position, we're able to control all of them through this slider. And that makes animating all these different text animations really easy to do because we don't have to mess around with easing on you know 10 different properties or however many properties we want to animate. So, Without even doing any animating, I've just applied these properties to my text layer through TextEvo, and we already got this nifty looking animation already. Look at that. Sexy. If we look at the effect panel for the layer that we have selected, we can see a bunch of different um, effects in here that we can provide input to. So for instance, we have the position, and let's say that we didn't want the position to start at 50 pixels below, we want it to start at 200. It's, it's really easy to make that change, and there's no adjusting the keyframe uh, associated to that. Let's undo that. Uh, we can adjust the scale, so right now I changed it to 20%, but we can change it back to zero. We can even adjust the rotation and what we rotate from initially. And we can add as many of these different effects that are all controlled by this, uh, this slider effect right here. All the animations in this text layer are controlled just by these keyframes. So let's talk a little bit about manipulating this easing a little bit to get some crazy animations going on. Uh, by default, it will make the uh, keyframes 30 frames apart. I'm going to change that to be 20. And again, this is all personal preference, but I'm going to add a little bit of an overshoot on, the, on this animation here. So as we move along our curve, we're going to go above our resting keyframe here and uh, it pr should provide a little bit more fun to this animation. Ooh, nice. Um, another thing that we can change is the delay. So right now, every single character is delayed by one or two frames. And I like setting this to be a little bit lower. So let's try one frame, actually. Um, reverse in. That will reverse how the uh, text comes in. And now with a little bit of animation that probably could be done in about 10 seconds, we have this really nice text animation. And one of the best things about this tool is that if we ever need to change up this, uh, this text, like my client will, will need to be doing, I can just double click on my text, type in a new name, and everything adjusts automatically. I don't have to change any of the animation it all conforms to whatever text is inside of this and even if we made this some super long text there's still no issue it all animates perfectly on all right let's wrap up this animation by doing the same thing to this happy text up here so same workflow I'm going to hit apply I'm going to add some properties here like position scale 
and uh, let's do an opacity. Eh, let's do rotation instead, actually. Um, we're going to call up the uh, keyframes. I'm going to change this to be 20 frames apart. And we can actually just copy uh, the keyframes from this original animation here on Emily. Uh, make sure that your playhead is at the first keyframe, and then Command V will paste that there. And now we'll have the uh, we'll have the same animation going on. Um, I want this happy to come in first. Let's make this come in about here, and then after birthday animates on, we'll have Emily come on a little farther back. There we go. So as you can see, super powerful tool. Um, we can do a bunch of other stuff, like we can change it so it's not based on the letters. We can do it by uh, words, lines, letters, spaceless. I've never actually experimented with that. Um, but yeah, it's a really great tool. I use it all the time, um, especially when I'm trying to get through uh, a lot of text animation. And it works great with like, uh, you know, closed captions or something. If you have a bunch of closed captions, like there's no way you could possibly animate all that in a timely fashion. But with this, it's really possible. Um, if you want to duplicate a, a text animation, I suggest duplicating the entire layer and then um, you can then go ahead and then readjust the text that's in there. And that will preserve all the existing animation going on. This is a tool that really allows for so much experimentation. So I encourage all of you to get in there, at least try out the tool and uh, tell me what you think. But most importantly, keep experimenting, keep pushing the boundaries and uh, good things are bound to happen, right? So take care, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, peace.